did I get to the point where my Listen. husband comes home at three in the morning and I don't know where he's been? Is it because uh -oh. you got your visa, you got your money, you got everything? <laughs> well, wait, tell me. Oh, and now. You don't know what you're doing. My name is Chantel. I'm 25 years old and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Right now I'm at a community college pursuing my bachelor's degree in nursing. And I had a friend introduce me to Pedro. Hola, Pedro. This, the young lady said that she wanted to go to the Dominican Republic. I believe Pedro is from the Dominican Republic. Let's get it. Nothing's for sale. We found out that our whole marriage is a scam. Uh-oh. A little heated, a little heated. How much money is he sending back home right now? You just call me a bitch. Yes. I feel like Pedro's abandoned me. It's been a couple of months, and there's been a few changes in our yeah. life. We bought a house. We bought a house. <laughs> our own little nest. Yeah. Oh, my god. I'm so proud of us. They look I mean, happy. look at us, baby. We are they are good looking together. They are good looking together. Most of the women that are trying to be passport sisters, just keep it a buck. They don't look like Chantel. They don't. They don't look like Chantel. What I will say is where Pedro is from, most of them women look like Chantel. So you know how the other day I was like, thank God for 17 years of going to Brazil, so I'm immune to the Brazilian accent. Pedro has spent his whole life in an environment where women look like Chantel. I'm just saying, let's go. Have yeah. our first house. Yeah. Shout out to you, Pedro. Oh uh, yeah, so little did they know, or maybe they did, that this house would be the absolute downfall of the relationship. Like, it was hella quick. <laughs> so quick, like, I wouldn't be surprised if the same you all that got the men was the same one that got Pedro out. Can't do this no more. Skirt, skirt. Now, an important note to keep in mind is that Pedro started his career from this purchase. Like, he got the idea to pursue real estate from buying this house. Pedro really nice. took interest in the whole yeah. process. She was been inspired for me, tell me, like, hey, yo, you know, you can be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who cares? See, I'm gonna go ahead and just <laughs> safely assume, like, the whole house thing, you know, credit closing, etc. <laughs> And Chantel's tip, I mean, she practically said it herself. I mean, me being a new entry-level nurse. And Good for her. She's a nurse now. So I'm, I'm happy for them. They got the house, you know, married, all that good stuff. This is what the passport sis situation should look like. You should be happy with yourself. You should be competitive as a lady, you know, and, 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 and uh, pursuing the things that you want, your dreams and all that good stuff. And you should get the type of guy that Pedro you want. Pedro being an immigrant. A guy like Pedro. Pedro was a pause in advance, a handsome man. He's not a mud duck. That's what you want, ladies. That's what you want, right? Make yourself competitive. Understand that he's been around fine women his whole life, yo. That is normal to him. But if you can stand out in other ways, this is where the other things start to matter. Maybe you can get a Pedro and call him an immigrant in front of everybody and he'll look like this. So like at some point the boy checked out like, like it's obvious. Then Pedro being an immigrant. The guy on the third, the family, his family, mistress, combination, whatever it is, mistress. like boy's ready to. Skirt, skirt. And this whole newfound job and the whole I'm working hard, <laughs> another excuse, basically just another way to get away from Chantel. Skirt, skirt. Me and my team and I like, like his got video. involved at the same time in the office. Remember when you were like, more leads, please. <laughs> <laughs> we want to be late in the office, learning, you know, working hard. Stop the cat. You're killing it, one after another now. <laughs> got the white girl in the car. Mm. But since he's gotten his new job, like the affection had just really stopped altogether. The one thing uh -oh. I learned about women is that when the math ain't adding up, like you moving different, acting funny, even something as little as you you putting on a little more deodorant than usual. Like I don't know what it is, but but they be turning into prime CIA investigators. Like I'm not even kidding. Like you ought to start fessing or I plead the fifth, cause you better get laid out like a criminal mind case. And it almost seems like the longer you drag it out, uh, the more dirt they find to use against you. Hey, Danny. Ah! Ah! <laughs> like it'd be crazy. But Bichanto's no different. Like Senor Pedro started moving funny, you know, acting mad weird, mad suspicioso. 
So you know, she had to bounce on a boy. I want you to notice something. And sometimes you need to be able to accept the truth from at least one person in your life. There's a saying, it's, it's from the Bible, it's a quote from the Bible that says that the wounds of a friend are faithful. And if you take a step back and you know Chantel, and yes, you may have fallen in love with Pedro and everything, and you want to marry him, and you want to be a nurse, what is probably the worst city in the United States of America to take that man to? Just based on demographic and culture. I submit to you the answer to that is Atlanta, Georgia. If you have never been to, lived in, or experienced Atlanta, absolutely Atlanta, the, the women in Atlanta are definitely because it's so hard to find a good dude or a halfway decent dude you bring a foreign exotic man to atlanta you're wildin ma you're wildin and let me tell you something here's what i know about uh the white women in atlanta just keeping it a buck there is this strange balance of the real southern white girl that has never had any type of intimate interaction with with uh, a black dude. Their curiosity is at critical mass down there. Take it from me, guilty as charged. Y'all know that I have a daughter with a white woman that I met in, guess what, Atlanta. <laughs> Them white women in Atlanta are all over any type or shade of brown. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Atlanta is it. If you want to find you a country thick white girl, Atlanta's where you go. That's where you go. I'm just saying, and, and so you brought exotic Pedro to one of the most competitive markets in the United States of, Amer of America for men of color. Com women compete for men of color in that state, in that city, more than almost anywhere else in the United States. And you didn't think you were gonna have a problem? You know what? If you would have booked the old consultation with El Guapo, I would have told you, you know what? You might wanna consider looking at a different city. You can be a nurse anywhere. Hey, cost of living in Texas is, is better, you know, or something like that. Just a thought, but people don't wanna get the guidance. They don't wanna invest in themselves. Since when did you hey, stop hey, respecting hey, me? Hey, hey, hey. You treat me like I'm stupid. Yeah? You treat me like I'm annoying. Yeah, you are annoying sometimes. <laughs> uh oh, yeah, you are annoying sometimes. Yeah. Pedro, you well, don't love. You me. know you. You don't. You know. You don't. You, know. you don't. Just say it. You don't tell me that you do love me. Why oh, don't you boy. tell me how you really feel? How many women in the Dominican Republic do you think do that? Now they're fiery down there. How can I put this diplomatically? The repercussions of talking like that in the DR to a man in the DR could be dire. She is very much protected because they're in the United States of America. Yeah. How about coming home with other woman's name strapped to your keys? Like some woman taped her name to your keys. Oh, no. Damn, Pedro's a f Listen, man, Pedro's a f boy, man. These women are putting their numbers on his keys. Man, they setting him up for failure. Pedro, come on, you have to be vigilant, man. You gotta pay attention, yo. Gotta pay attention. That is something unusual and, and know, highly and suspect. And that is something and unusual and, and highly and suspect. I got a whole X-Files case on you by now, my boy. No, no <laughs> fairness to Pedro. Like, go to BS accusation was like harmless office games. And Chantel's kind of making bold assumptions, you know, taking things out of context. But that's what happened when your communication is doo-doo and you're leaving room for interpretation. Right now, he doesn't communicate with me. You're just leaving I wonder why. Late. You're yelling in his face like that. You don't love me. Well, you don't tell me you love me. That doesn't mean I don't. Come on, man. Imagination to run wild, Pedro. That's the scammer mentality. Ooh. For example, like man's okay with giving out free Uber rides to his female co- to, uh, Yeah. This, this, the young lady in the passenger seat right there. I'm telling you like I know. I'm not telling you like I think. The young lady like this that might not be chosen 
man I, uh, bruh i've had them oh my gosh is my wife listening baby this is way before i met you this is before i met my second wife i think yes this one right here any and everything that you could possibly imagine you want her to do she's going to do it she's going to clean your crib she'll come she will come over just to clean your crib take care of you orally and then roll out not want anything else from you in atlanta i'm telling you being six foot two in atlanta and just halfway decent looking what did my man say the other day uh tony gaskins i ain't stepped on i don't look like i'm stepped on yeah this chick right here sitting in this car she's doing in any and everything calling her girlfriends up for you dropping dough on you i'm telling you i'm just telling you like i know all right the competition for Pedro is high in Atlanta. Pause, I'm just telling you like I know, but it's real. This is important. Plain Jane will clean your house, fill your stomach and drain them balls in a few hours minus commercials for real. Dog, I'm giving, I'm giving up the game real fast. I've had this one, the one that looks like this one, clean the house cook the food or bring the food take care uh, uh, of, of of downstairs guapo take the keys to my car go fill it up with gas roll out dead at y'all don't know y'all don't know and you think pedro come on man yo pedro pedro will always have a place to stay in atlanta always for real, for real. They will fight, literally fight over him. Shout out to you, Quiet Storm. That is so, so true. She's gunning for him. Look at how she's looking at him. Let's go. Workers, we can't flip a light bulb for his wife. If you want, I can give you a ride. Yeah, I would love to. You don't need to get Uber. I don't you can't even turn on the light for me in the morning. You got two hands, you can do it. Because you're lazy. And he ain't gonna sit back and wonder why she acting crazy. Like, bro, bro, you know. Like, Pedro, I know you're not the brightest bulb in the bag, but, but you're not that stupid. Now, besides Pedro, like, things ain't looking. When did I get to the point where my Listen. husband comes home at three in the morning and I don't know where he's been? Is it because uh -oh. you got your visa, you got your money, you got everything <laughs> oh and now is this not what all the passport bro haters are saying these women are gonna come here they're gonna get their green card they're gonna leave you they're gonna get their visa they make their own money and they're gone and this is playing out live on tv or that the other way around when we say that a lot of these women are projecting. It's the truth. This is that happens to y'all. The same thing that these women claim that they're going to do, they're going to go, which is ridiculous when you take a step back that a woman is going to go to the ends of the earth to find a man. You know, when women ask me, hey, what can I do to find a good man? I say nothing. I say, all you can do is put yourself in the best position possible to be found by a good man. It's not your job to go find him. It's your job to put yourself in the best position to be found by him. Kevin Samuels used to talk about this all the time. Men, if you're gonna have a side piece, the, the juice is not worth the squeeze. If you're gonna do that, either just be a bachelor or have a conversation with your lady and just let her know, Look, everybody deserves a choice based on the truth. Pedro, how are you going to bring the receipts home? You cannot be lazy and have a side piece. That does not work. You have got to be on point. Being lazy and having a side piece never works. You've got to be so on point to make that work, man. Don't do it. For, that, for papers all the time, that's a little blow. And who is, who is... <laughs> Who's, who's is this? Look at that sparkly <laughs> Pedro, you wildin', bro. You are wildin'. It's not 
nine, when I ask you where you're going, you're telling me it's none of my business and you're coming home drunk. Oh, trust me, that's it. Are you cheating on me? See, at this point, like the boy Pedro ain't even trying to defend himself. He's kind of just like, okay, you're right. Mm. I, I don't want to fight. And Chantel, with the uh, reasonable suspicion, decided, hey, it's time to be on offense. Like, time to solve this Scooby Doo mystery. Like, man's coming home late, drunk, moving and acting weird. Take out the names on his keys, anonymous sparkly bottles. Look at that. Sh How do you f that up? How do you bring that home, yo? Bro, what are you doing, man? <laughs>